Hi guys, today is um, a morning full of skies and pretty colors and that's what I wanted to share with you today. So what I'm doing, I'm wearing Christmas colors because I'm in the mood and uh, this is the time of year which might not be when you watch it. <laughs> I didn't think about that. All right, so we are going to go to the overhead camera and I want to paint something with you today that would be good for anybody, guys or girls, or as a gift. And I thought that would be a fun thing to share with you and show you how easy it is to just to put some kind of background on and make it look like something, okay, that you might like to give as a gift, okay? So here we are. Let's look at the colors that I'm gonna be using today. And I'm using multi-surface colors, all right? And what we're gonna do is use, um, I'm gonna click it a little bit, there we go. I've got a cobalt blue hue, quicker white, burnt umber, pleblo, and uh, daffodil yellow. And I might come in and put some orange, but the first thing I wanna do is get my horizon line. And so when we look for the horizon, we're going to, I'm gonna get a ruler here. And about right here, right in the center, I'm going to put this horizon. So it will be the difference of being from the sky. Let me measure it from here so that we know where we want to go from. All right, I want to go, um, let's do six and a half. And that'll be easy over here to do six and a half. All right. And then we're just going to make a straight line. And that's very crooked. Okay, let's do this again. All right, there we are. All right, six and a half is down here. And I know what's right on the other side. Okay. Okay, so all we need is that horizon line. Okay, now we have our painter sponges. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to um, bring some of the yellows and oranges in the middle. So I'm going to come right through here and go and get both colors. All right. Now I want you to turn it sideways because it's easier to pull a straight line this way than this way. Okay. So I'm going to come right in here and push my finger down hard. And I'm going to come this side, the same colors, wrap it around the edge. And then I'm going to turn it the other way and pick up some more. And come right down this way. Okay, so I have that darker going up in this photograph. I ought to show you the photograph. There we go. This is what we're working on. Okay, that's what we're doing today. All right, so now on this lower half, I want to start bringing in some yellow. I don't wanna do the blue first because then we can get some green colors with the blues and the yellows. All right, yes. Come down here. So now what needs to happen is a little bit of white. Okay. I'm going to work this in. See how the white is just making a really nice glow. All right. So I'm going to come down. And let it just have a little bit of a glow going down. Do you see that? Okay. Now I am going to come in. I'm pinching the sponge so I don't get any street edge. Okay. And we will put a white glow of the sun right there for the sunset. But I'm going to let that dry before I bring the blue in. So let's turn this around. Let's go back to this area here. And 
let me get yellow and blood blow. And we're getting an orange feel with this, so we probably don't need to go get just pure orange. Okay, so, so what happens is I'm pushing down on the sponge. So it's getting the yellow to a lighter color. Okay, so now the rest of what's gonna happen up here is I'm gonna take blue down and then we're gonna put a glow of this orange clouds, like yellowish orange clouds that are gonna go up into the blue. All right, so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna squeeze into my water caddy to get rid of some of that color. Okay, and I'm gonna get a paper towel. And so what you wanna do is you wanna squeeze the water or I have two sponges, one of the two. So I wanna squeeze the water and get that color out. Okay, so I had a lot of water in there, but I still have a little bit of the color, which I can go get it out, but I think we'll be fine, all right? So let's go to the top here, and I'm just gonna put cobalt in here. I'm gonna do the top edge and down the sides. This is kind of a fun project. This doesn't take very long to achieve something that you feel good about. All right, I'm gonna go that far and then I'm gonna stop. All right, so what we need to have happen is I can darken up there later if I want, but I'm going to pick up a touch of white, right? And I'm going, I flipped it over, see that? These are my painter sponges, they're on my site. You get two, this one and a smaller one. And they're Donna DeVries one stroke painter sponges. And you can get them there and they're very reasonable. OneStroke.com, all spelled out. You see how I'm coming into the blue? All right. Now I'm gonna take this white over here and the white over here. Okay, so now I can intensify this top blue up here a little bit more and slowly come down. So I just want a little bit darker up there and you can kind of pinch this a little bit and make that nice blend. Okay, so when I take the yellow up there, it'll look nice too. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. And it's lighter down here, so I'm not gonna get as dark down here. Okay. So this should be lighter. And we're gonna come on all the edges. Now I am going, I had another one of my sponges right here. I'm going to, this is relax and paint. So hopefully you're relaxing and doing this painting with me. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Another sponge, there we go. All right, so we're gonna take the blues on here. And then remember, we gotta get this haze right here. So I'm gonna pick up white. Now see, I, I just take my fingers and lightly wet this. This with my fingers, don't stick it in the water. But with this one, I didn't do that, but we're gonna be fine. So I'm going to, because I just needed to bring some yellow in here. Okay, so I'm gonna take some white. Right, and I just want this to kind of glow in here. Okay, so it's a really soft glow into the blue. Now see, this blends it into the blue. 
but this is where the pain is. All right, so I'm gonna put some yellow there. Get some yellow here before I go up. Now you can't do this, guys. If you do this this way, you're gonna have a hard line that we can't get rid of. So you have to turn it around and you have to work it in so that it blurs the edge. See how blurred that is? I can tap it. Okay, so a little bit more of uh, right in here. Okay. We're going to come right across here. Right. And we can take a little bit down here, but not really much, okay? We have darker orange tones on the both sides of here. On this side also. Because it's not just orange, that Pueblo color. We can take a little bit of it in here. So we're just getting a mist, right? There we go. Now I'm going to take and just get a little bit of white and I'm going to make a little glow in here. And that got really big. <laughs> I don't want that glow that big. So I can come back around it. Just a little bit of a glow. All right. I'm going to take a little bit of yellow. A little bit of white. Okay. All right, I'm just going to push these sponges down into the water because the rest of this is going to be with a paintbrush. Okay. So now what we want is we're going to come in here. I have pulled out a few. Let's use our 16. All right. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to pick up white on the 16. And I'm going to decide that right up here is where the sun's going to glow from right there. And then the clouds are going to come in around it. Okay. So we can also put this and rub it in a little bit more. I keep adding it, it dries little bits. Okay. So what's going to happen here is a little bit of a yellow glow. All right, and then it's going to come with a little bits of orange, which is that Pueblo. It's got too much white. Let me see if I can just pick it up. It's 
slap, 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 back and forth, back and forth. And then you're gonna rub back and forth until that yellow glows up. I may, I'm coming all the way around. Okay, and right into the blue. All right, so I can come in here and wipe some of that in. Okay, now let's look at some of these clouds. So the cloud's gonna be um, some white, over here, some yellow and some Pueblo. Tapping that in. And then we're gonna come in here. I'm just sideways kind of, like I didn't, I should, I'm gonna go like that. So the light yellow is gonna be at the bottom, the lighter yellow color. And see, so we go over here again, yellow and Pueblo. And so the Pueblo is gonna be on the bottom. Okay. And we're gonna come right in here and keep working this in. All right, a little bit of yellow. All right, right in here. A little bit of white. And a little bit of white here. The last thing we have to do, see that's pretty easy. The last thing we have to do is I wanna do some bellowing clouds. You can take slip slap with your corner of your brush. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit more in here. So see how fun that is? So what you're doing is you're taking the corner, the corner, but we're using the dark colors, dark Pueblo. See how fun? But that blue just makes it look really good that way. All right, so I wanna come in here with the yellow and Pueblo again. And right under here, we get some darkness. And a, a teeny bit of burn number that shows this in that picture. A little bit of burn number. And you can decide, you saw it looks good with or without that. And kind of laying the brush down and scrubbing it. See? And then we can still have that glow up under here a little bit. A little bit of white with the yellow. And then come back and put some of this darker coast. There we go. All right. This is misty. So one of the things we can do, if it doesn't get us uh, the color we want, is that we can, and we have to do this before we do the sea oats. I'm just straightening this horizon line up again. Pretty much that horizon line needs to be super straight. Okay, all right, so I am gonna come in here with some white and yellow, daffodil yellow again, 
And I just want to blend this out a little bit more. There we go. See back and forth, just to make it glow a little bit more. A little bit more light. There we go. All right. So that strong sun there. Gets across just a little bit. All right. So there's our whole canvas. Oops. So I'm going to put out some licorice. Use um, a Prussian blue, a really, really dark blue, or you could use another color, but I'm using this licorice color because it, it's a silhouette, a shadow. All right, so I'm going to get some floating medium. Okay, that's the fluff that's in paint with no pigment in it. Okay, so I'm going to go into this and then I'm going to work in my licorice. Now I don't want it too thin, okay? But then I decide where I want the first one to go. I don't want to hit the hit the sun's sun there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I can't put my finger down in the wet here. Okay, so I did that pretty wiggly. So I'm going to steady my hand. Make this a little bit bigger than I would. But it can be one that's really close to us. All right, so I steadied my arm on the table. All right, so sometimes I just hold, put my hand like this and lean on it because everything is wet here and I don't want to touch it. All right, and I'm going to come right over here and see I can steady my little finger. See, it's on the side edge of the canvas. And those can be thinner and more in the distance. Okay. And I can take this and curve it over a little bit. And have one right here. I see I'm running my little finger along it. Because down here is dry. All right, so I placed them all by which ones are in the picture. But you know what, guys? You can add extra ones if you want to. Or you can put them in totally different place than I did. I'm going by the picture. Okay, there we go. All right, since I got this little bend in this one, here we are. See? So what I want to do is come here, there, and this one it really comes over. All right, because it's kind of laying over. There's a couple in here. And then we have, oh, I don't want that licorice on the edge. I think I ran into it. All right, I'm going to lay this out because it's easier with the 16 flat. These are my signature brushes that I'm using today. All right, we're going to touch that right up into the sun. All 
So these are just placement fours, right? And then in here, and this is the fun part is easy and simple strokes. We're on the chisel, we're pushing all the way down. And then the last thing we do is come back. All right, with a smaller brush. Some people feel more comfortable with a small, small brush, but usually you get a nicer look with just a really slim. A 10 or a 12 will work perfect here. These are flat brushes. My brushes do a really good job of the strokes I do. And you see how often I keep going back and picking up paint. So this is a silhouette. So that means the sun's on the other side and you're over here seeing this from here from this side. So all you would see is the shadow, which makes it look black. Okay, so ever so lightly. Just keep getting paint. That just takes a little bit of time, but just keep working on it, little teeny strokes. And it's mostly on the tips and you can have a couple little spots like this. that You come back down here and add a little bit. There's some space in between with some of these little new growth. Maybe just a little bit light. This is like a little heavier on some of these. Isn't that pretty? All right, so we're going to come right there and finish it up. I can think of numerous people in my family, numerous men or even people who love nature that would love to have one of these in their house. And the beauty of this is you can change any color of the background to match the decor that you're trying to put it into. It can have all earth tones in the sky. You could have um, reds all kinds of great colors you can add into this. 
rather than the tones that I went with. This would even look good. My daughter is doing ocean. And this would be even a nice piece in her bathroom or her bedroom or whatever. Okay, there we go. So I will be sending you out. I will be posting the pictures so that you can see exactly what you're getting when you signed up to watch this today, right? All right. So when I got too big like that, you really have to live with it. So I can come in here and give it an illusion that it's not that big, right? So I can lighten that up and then add a little teeny bit here, like it's from another small piece that is growing piece of grass here. All right, see, that took away from it a little bit. I like to show you how to fix things if you're concerned or you're not happy with it. Look, there's something that makes it easy. There you go. Thank you very much. Please check out my Friday classes, brush strokes. It's called practice strokes. And I teach you all sorts of tips and tricks with one stroke painting. As you're growing your knowledge of one stroke, I think you'll be really happy to see how I make it easy for you to load brushes and use mediums. And all right, so till, till I see you next Wednesday or this Friday. Keep painting, all right? Thank you.